Horn Scouts. Welcome back to City Skylines, Episode 4. Today, I'd like to work on our city's only outside connection, which, at the moment, connects our industrial district, our main city, and the outer connection itself. The bridge, namely the Three Trumpet Interchange, is great, but not for our new needs. I mentioned in a previous episode that I wished in the future for the interchange to carry on straight. The current design, however, does not quite allow us to do that. A change like that would require too much time and effort. Instead, I've opted for a refreshing new interchange with a new design. I'll show you all the details of our new construction project in this episode. For now, I'd like to give a big thanks to our current interchange. Without it, we would not have been able to build this great industrial district. It's too bad it never got a chance to be utilized by traffic. With that said, let's have a moment of silence, for this is the last time we see this majestic roadway. not it. Hey, there you are. The Yin Yang Interchange. This is quite a bit larger than our previous design that does come with the benefit of carrying a higher load of traffic, which is important when talking about where this goes. Well, with no time to waste, let's make her feel right at home. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, let's do it from the top. Quite the fit. Let's push down a bit. Some more. Very close. Hey, looking good. Let's make sure this fits right. Sound will most likely be of major concern in this area. That's good. B 
before I decided to showcase this interchange, or decided that this would be the one to replace our previous one, I took a good look at it before recording. After I saw the great amount of detail and design of this, I thought it would be worthy of welcoming our citizens and passerby. We've got a lot of work ahead of us, and I can't wait to start. My only concern is there is a height issue with the above three lanes and the below. As you can see, the lights from below are showing through the above. Cars coming by will collide. Such imperfections will not be accepted. Previously, I tried raising the above three lanes, but quickly found out it's not a good option. Instead, we'll lower the three lanes down. That way, this interchange and its people can live and drive with their heads still intact. a big step. With the interchange now in place, construction can finally begin on the other side. But we'll speak about that later. In the meantime, I'd like to give thanks to the creator of this interchange. The info will be down below. Myself, I think it's a great fit and it will do a great job of managing traffic, but only time will tell. This interchange has the very important task of handling traffic in between four directions, multiple cities, and I just can't wait to see it perform. This is the south side overlooking our current major city. And this is our north outer connection, with plans to introduce a rail yard and train tracks just below. And this is the exit to the first city on the other side of our new interchange. You can see the city, the main city, just south, making this an easy, fast commute for people here. With reinforced concrete, this is also a prime location for our new fuel station.
Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll work on it. After all, we've got plenty of time and episodes to continue improving our cities. But I can't wait for people to start moving in. It's been some time since I've seen vehicles or people. They will certainly be a welcome addition. Now, why does this only need electricity and not water pipes? That's interesting. Anyway, for now, ladies and gentlemen, I'll leave you with some shots of our official new interchange. And scouts, I'll see you in the next one.